Before you begin, it is important to wash your hands to ensure you don't transfer any oil or grease to the balloon surface. Stage two is marking the balloon. Take the provided pen and draw a dot on the top center of the balloon. This will act as a guide for when you place the lights onto the inflated balloon. Stage three is stretching the balloon. It is important to stretch the balloon before inflating so that the balloon is perfectly circular. Stretch the sides and lengthways a few times. Stage four is inflating the balloon. Use a jellyfish guide to inflate the balloon to 15 inches diameter and make sure you hold the balloon neck to avoid losing any helium. Stage five is tying off the balloon. Twist the balloon neck a number of times to keep the pressure of the balloon and tie off the neck with a simple knot. Check that the knot is tight otherwise helium may escape. Stage six is preparing the battery pack. Insert the three Duracell batteries provided, making sure they are correctly in place. Insert the fixing screw using a screwdriver and secure. Then unwind the light coil and gently pull straight so that it makes it easy to place the lights onto the balloon. Stage seven is attaching the lights to the balloon. You can see from the template guide that you must make three loops around the balloon to complete the pattern. First tie the end of the wire onto the balloon neck and make sure it is secure. Follow the seam of the balloon and always keep tension using the knot as the anchor. The wire must cross the black dot at the top center of the balloon and complete one circumference of the balloon and loop the wire to the neck again. Always loop under the knot. Turn the balloon 30 degrees and complete another full 360 degree rotation of the balloon, again making sure the wire is kept tight and crosses the black dot. Loop under the knot and finally turn the balloon 30 degrees and rotate for a final 360 degrees, again keeping the wire tight. Tie off the wire with two loops to make sure the wire does not come loose. Cut off the excess balloon neck material and place a provided jellyfish sticker onto the top of the balloon where the wires cross to secure the wires from moving. Your jellyfish balloon is now complete. Quite simple really, but practice makes perfect. So remove the wire and try again until you have the correct pattern and tension. You and your staff will soon learn from your mistakes. Good luck and enjoy. When you display your jellyfish balloons in your shop, Use air and hang with fish tackle, as helium wants to get out and will. Air will not deflate, and it lasts four times longer than helium.